How to Use an Overdose Prevention Helpline Overdose deaths in the United States continue to climb due to an increasingly toxic, unregulated drug supply. The number one risk factor for fatal overdose is using alone. Using with someone else present and ready to help can keep people much safer. Overdose prevention helplines are designed to reduce opioid-related overdose deaths by connecting people who are using drugs with someone who can help. When someone calls the helpline, they first hear a pre-recorded disclaimer message and then are connected with the next available trained volunteer operator. The operator introduces themselves and offers to explain the service. The operator asks for information, a callback number, who the caller would like to come if they become unresponsive. This could be emergency medical services or a friend or family member who has naloxone and is able to respond quickly, and the type and route of drug they are using. Most importantly, the caller is asked where they are, including address, apartment number, floor, how to get in, and room location. Identifying information is not shared or linked with law enforcement or other agencies beyond what is needed to facilitate an overdose response. The operator will ask the caller to make preparations in case an overdose response is triggered. This includes ensuring that the caller's phone is charged, unmuted, and placed on speaker, the doors are unlocked, any pets are secured, and extra drugs and drug equipment are not in the open. In the event of an overdose, responders need to be able to reach the caller as fast as possible. John reports that he is in a parking lot in front of a specific address. John will be asked to provide the make and model of the vehicle he is in, and where he is in the parking lot if it's a large space. John will also be asked to keep his doors unlocked. So, what happens when someone overdoses? When a caller stops responding to the operator, the operator contacts whoever the caller agreed would respond at the beginning of the call. If it is emergency medical services, the operator connects to the nearest 911 dispatch. The operator relays that they have a person on the phone who may be in respiratory arrest and provides the location details. The operator stays on the phone with the helpline caller until the responder arrives at the scene. 98% of all calls end without overdose. Typically, calls are an opportunity for a person using a loan to keep themselves safe and connect with someone supportive and non-judgmental. How can healthcare professionals help their patients utilize this type of helpline service? Some people may be scared to make that first call to an overdose prevention helpline. As a healthcare professional, consider calling with your patient to help alleviate those fears. Helpline operators are prepared to answer calls for the purpose of explaining the service. Help patients understand how the process works and reiterate that this is a confidential service intended to save lives.